Let's now look at the page number, the sheet number, that you put down in the corner of your drawing, like A101. These sheet numbers are really useful to contractors and subcontractors and people who are doing estimating on a project. There's a lot of flipping back and forth from page to page as they look up a section or a detail and try and find all their information. So it's really helpful that we follow this orderly system. And our page numbers start with the biggest part of the site, uh, maybe the civil engineering layout, and work gradually smaller and smaller from general to specific. And they go in the order in which the project is built. If it's a big drawing set, there'll be an index, uh, many of them do have an index, on the very first sheet that shows the contractor and the estimator where to find things. We saw this in our uh, Robertson Sherwood drawing. Here's their front sheet of their drawing set with an index, so you can look up and see where am I going to find such and such a drawing. Notice that their sheet number begins with a G, G for general. So in the list of drawing sheets, the first one is always G for general, if you have one of those index sheets. And the sheets always go in this order. You won't have all of these sheets, but whichever of these categories you have, you put them in this order, and that lets your contractor find what they're looking for readily. I'm going to go to the next sheet where here, I'm sorry about this, I think this might be from the CAD standard. Uh, you see the same list of sheet names. They're going top to bottom this time. So G for general is the first one. Uh, and notice how the categories, the disciplines, go from big to small, from general to specific. So we start with the big old surveying and geotechnical and civil, uh, gradually focus in. Maybe next we have, and by the way, we want to put in landscape stuff before we start stomping around and doing all this building and uh, destroying the soil. Anyway, uh, so we got our civil stuff laid out. Then we might come in and do the structural, the foundation and the steel columns, then architectural, and so forth. You see how it goes in order. And just like with the CAD layers, our sheet number always starts with the discipline. A for architecture, C for civil, and so forth. These are the most common disciplines. You will almost always have an A for architecture if you have anything. You might or might not have some of these others. Here's the whole list of designators with the common ones bolded. Notice how they match the discipline designators that we use in the CAD layers. If you have a small project, you can then just go uh, a number, so A1, A2, and so forth. If you have a really big project, you might have these double discipline designators, but we're not going to think about those. Many firms use uh, a designator that tells what type of drawing this is. So we'll have A for architecture, and then we might have 1 to represent that this is a plan view, or 2 to represent that this is an elevation. Here, here, here it is again with that list uh, expanded out with a little bit more explanation. So your plan view drawings might be A dash one something. Your elevation drawings might be A dash two something. Your section drawings will be A dash three something, and so forth. Each discipline might have a 101. 
and that would be a different sheet. The structural 101 is a different sheet than the architectural 101, but they're both floor plans or plan views. And then the last two numbers, uh, they might just be the next available number, so one, two, three. But in larger multi-story buildings, some firms like to use these last numbers to represent what floor of the building we're on. So for example, down here where you see this group of A uh, plan drawings, they will write A for architecture, 1 because it's a plan, and then 01 because it's the first floor plan. Then the next sheet will be A for architecture, 1 because it's a plan, and 02 because it's the second floor plan, and so forth. And you can see some other examples down here on the bottom. For example, the very last one is an electrical plan. It's electrical. 1 means it's a plan view, and 2 means it's a plan view of the second floor. But, as we said, in a small plan set, you might just say A1, A2, A3, and call that good. The cover sheet will be the first sheet in a plan set, and oftentimes you'll see some sort of photograph or rendering or illustration. It's kind of like the cover of a book. And then the general sheet has all that indexy stuff. Many projects, like those you see for LCC, will combine all this cover sheet and general stuff on one page. Here, here is a list of the kinds of things you might find on the general sheet. So, for example, you might have a thumbnail map that shows where this project is located. You might have a legend for what all the symbols are for and then a whole bunch of other information. Here again is Systems West. You saw this drawing earlier. And here is their site plan. This is on their front general sheet, their title sheet. And they call it T for title. This shows where this project is located. Um, if you have a general sheet for the front of the whole set, you might also have a separate general sheet for each of the disciplines, just to make it extra confusing. And then finally, here are some discipline uh, subdivisions. So the civil stuff shows the, the site, the street, the utilities, the lot lines, and so forth. Sometimes it's C for civil, sometimes it's L for landscape. Those tend to be interchangeable in many projects. S is structural, as we mentioned. A is architectural, as we've mentioned. I is interior. So this is a drawing, a plan view drawing for a store. And what you see here are the store shelves, the, the fixtures. P is the set of plumbing drawings, and this one uses isometric views to help the plumber see where the lines go. As we mentioned, M is mechanical, so you'll see a company like Systems West with a lot of M sheets. M for mechanical, um, heating, cooling, ventilating. Here's a detail mechanical sheet. And this is the last slide. Here's an example from an electrical sheet, so E for electrical.